to install Python, open any browser of your choice. So let me open Safari over here. Now search for install Python. Click on the python.org link over here. So we have Python 3, that's basically the latest version and you have Python 3.1, 3.1 and you can click on download over here. Click on allow to da allow downloads. And so now you should have the file getting downloaded over here. Let's wait for this to get completed. So once this is completed, just click on the downloaded the PKG file over here and, and this is going to open the Python installer for you. Click continue on the introduction, read the agreement and agree to this by clicking continue, read the license and agree to this by clicking continue. Let's choose the installation type. So I, I'm not going to customize it, I'm just going to install the default over here. Let's enter our password. Okay, and this is going to install Python for us. You can also do this if you already have Python installed and it is basically going to update your Python for you along with the IDLE which is the application you can use to run Python commands apart from your IDEs like VS Code or the terminal itself. Now let's test it out in the terminal. So you can type which Python 3 to know where Python is installed and we see that Python 3 is installed in library frameworks python.framework versions 3.13 bin python 3. And you can simply type python3 to open the python prompt on the terminal. You can run this for example by saying 4 plus 5 and you can run other python commands as well. Let's quit this by typing quit with the parenthesis. The thing to install is python pip. So let's search for that. So click on the python.org link over here for installing packages. This is basically python packages. So you should already have pip installed and set up so just copy this python and paste it here python 3-m pip dash dash version and we have pip 24.3.1 installed at this particular location over here just in case that doesn't work you can type this python 3-m ensure pip default pip and says requirement already satisfied and in case this also does not work, download this particular Python script, right click the link and click download link file, then move to your downloads directory and run this command. Change it to Python 3 before running. Okay, and in our case, it basically replaced the same version. It uninstalled 24.3.1 and reinstalled 24.3.1 over here. So this is how you can install pip and this is the Python package installer which is very, very helpful to install different packages in Python and you should always have this as a part of your Python setup. Let's change back to our home directory. Apart from this, you should always install VS Code. So go to Safari and search for install VS Code. Click on the download link from visionstudio.com and click on the Mac OS link over here. Now this is gonna download the VS Code installer. Let's wait for that to complete. Once the VS Code download is complete, uh, just go to your Visual Studio Code download over here. It says it's an app downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? Let's click on open. And here you have your Visual Studio Code application. For now, we'll go to extensions and search for Python over here. And then you see that you have a Python extension from Microsoft, which has around 150 million downloads. You can click on install and download to install this. And this will help you provide some rich support for the Python language while you edit your documents in Python. And just in case you would want to remove Python from a system, the easy way to do that is go to the terminal first and check where Python is installed. And you get this particular library. Note this down. Please note it is extremely important that you don't delete the system Python supplied by Apple. You might find a Python installation in slash user slash bin or system library folder the system python installed by apple by default and it uses that for several applications only remove the applications that you have installed and not the default applications provided by apple for running the os then go to finder open your applications folder and select whichever version of version of python you want to remove so i'm going to remove python 3.1.2 and 3.1.3 right click and move to bin type your password and you have removed Python from here. Then go to the terminal again. 
Now remove the python.framework folder. First do an ls-l in the python.framework slash versions folder. And you see there are two folders, uh, two versions over here. I want to remove all of them. I'll remove the framework directory from my system. Enter my password over here. Okay, so this removes the python.framework directory. And now to check if we have removed python successfully or not, we can type python3 and we can type which we can type which python3 and now we see that it's basically referring to the user bin python3 which is the system supplied python3 by apple and we should not delete this you can check the version over here and it's 3.9.6 so we have successfully deleted 3.12 and 3.13 and we can reinstall them if we need to to use that version with our applications Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you like this video and do check out the other videos on my channel.